No shortage of upsets already in the NCAA tournament. By the end of the fourth game on Thursday, less than 1% of brackets on CBSSports.com were still perfect. Chip Patterson, basketball writer for CBSSports.com, is joining us to break it all down. Chip, are you part of that perfect less than 1%? What was it, like 0.27% I saw? No, Elaine, no, I am <laughs> certainly not. I uh, like many, I like 38%, uh, more than one third of CBSSports.com users had Iowa State advancing to the Sweet 16, myself being one of them. And with Iowa State getting knocked out by UAB, uh, I am busted there. And then of course, Georgia State on RJ Hunter's big 35 footer at the horn, uh, big buzzer beaters already. We've had upsets already and controversy. So this is six hours of the NCAA tournament. We've already had all the check marks filled. Uh, a lot of people we're talking about the Big 12 today. It's not good news. So what's going on with this conference? Well, the Big 12, according to the RPI, which is what the NCAA Tournament Selection Committee uses to judge strength of schedule and conference strength, uh, Big 12 is number one. Maybe you like Ken Pomeroy's statistics on KenPom.com. I do. Uh, Big 12 is number one. But yet, it, with Iowa State and Baylor and Texas all losing. The Big 12 is off to an 0-3 start. So now this league, which supposedly was one of the best in the country, has lost two of its contenders to make it to the second weekend. And now you're starting to doubt the Big 12, which does not have, by a lot of people's considerations, a national title contender. Hmm. You're starting to think twice about how good the league was during the year. So what other storylines, Chip, are starting to emerge at this early stage? Well, obviously, the upsets are going to be something that everyone loves. You've got uh, the first time that two number 14 seeds have won in the same day since 1995. So we've got decades of history that we're breaking through. But in terms of controversy, uh, the ending of UCLA and SMU will be something that we are talking about for the next couple days. Uh, Bryce Alford was dribbling the ball around and fired up a three-pointer as he was fading away. The shot looked like it was going to fall short. But goaltending was called on SMU big man Yannick Morera, which meant that SMU lost on a goaltending call in the NCAA tournament. Uh, SMU had done a great job at that point. They had a 17-0 run during the game. But UCLA, because of a late SMU turnover and this goaltending call, actually knocked off the sixth seed. And the Bruins were a team that a lot of people didn't even think deserved a spot to begin with. Heartbreaking. You know, yeah. Chip, we were talking about this off camera. I always feel like when it comes to trying to prognosticate with sports, it's kind of like trying to predict the weather. You can make an educated guess, but in the end, anything can happen. Uh, you know, I, I cover college basketball 12 months a year, and someone who's maybe watches zero college basketball games, maybe they're picking based on your mascot or your favorite color. You've got just as much of a chance as I do, I promise you. All right, it's exciting nonetheless. Chip Patterson, CBSSports.com. Thanks so much for that.